Hey everybody, it's Steven Travis at Crux Chiropractic. Uh, we're going to show you a great exercise that involves some pulling. Uh, we're just going to call it simple rowing. Um, but we're going to go through a couple different variations. Now, two quick things to mention with this rowing. Um, this is not just an arm workout. We're doing this specifically to engage through the trunk um, while we work on our postural muscles to pull. So, I want you to really focus on your diaphragm or your breathing muscle facing down, your pelvic floor facing up, everything in great alignment and never to lose that position. Uh, this position of strength is great for pulling. The other thing that I want you to pay attention to as Travis does this exercise is that as he's pulling, I only want him to go so far as that he doesn't affect his shoulder in this position. So if he pulls back so far that he starts to dip forward with his shoulder, that's a little bit too far. So I only want him to go so far as he can keep his shoulder blade engaged through that position. As soon as this starts to dip forward, we've gone too far. Okay, so the first position we're gonna do is just an athletic stance standing. I'm gonna have him grab either side of the band. How do you know which band is right for you? We want it to be challenging. I want you to continue to be able to breathe deeply into your belly, uh, but not so hard that uh, you lose that great breathing posture. Um, but we wanted to challenge you just a little bit, really focusing on building up some muscles in the back without losing this posture in any way. So he's gonna stack his diaphragm, faces his pelvic floor. He's gonna get into a little bit of an athletic stance, if your friend is holding it, tell him not to let go. If the doorway is holding it, make sure that the door closes this way and it's around the knob on the other side. Great, so from this nice athletic stance where his pelvic floor matches his diaphragm, he's going to pull. Notice how far back he pulls. He doesn't so pull so far back that his shoulder dips forward. Good and come on back. Good. Great for engagement. He's gonna stay tall through his head as he pulls through here. It's a great upper back exercise. Great for lat engagement, as well as pulling and getting those shoulder blades back. Anti-everyday posture. Good, Travis, I want you to go into a little bit of a staggered stance. So he's gonna step back, a half step back, and just to the outside with one of the legs. You can do either way or do both, really. He's gonna do that same pulling motion. But one thing that hasn't changed is that his trunk, or from shoulders down to his hips, is not in any different of a position. It's just that his feet are staggered a little bit. So you notice him pulling. He's getting tall through his head. Imagine someone's taking the hair on the top, well, not Travis's head, but my head, and pulling nice and tall. Perfect. All right, Travis, I want you to go down into tall kneeling here. Perfect. Perfect. So tall kneeling is the position we call um, both knees down, and he's nice and tall through here. Good. And actually, we're going to show you a little bit of a regression first, so go ahead and sit back. Keeping your chest up as you do this, you're not slumping. Chest stays high, but he's gonna sit back and he's gonna do this same pulling motion. Really great. A nice and easy exercise through here if you're not able to handle the others. Great, now go ahead and hinge forward. He's gonna come up into tall kneeling and keeping awesome posture, he's gonna pull through here. Really, again, yes, it's a shoulder exercise, but keeping that trunk stability and breathing deep into your belly is the most important thing. Good, and lastly, we're gonna show you half kneeling. Half kneeling refers to one knee on the ground, the other foot up. Perfect, and go ahead and pull. Great positioning through here. You're looking for that 90 degrees at the knee and at the hip as he's pulling through. He's keeping great posture, nice and tall through there. Awesome, this is simple rowing. Let us know if you have any other fun variations and let us know if you have any other questions.